Have you ever wondered what makes those exit signs glow in the dark, guiding you safely through the corridors even during a power outage? Well, the secret lies in a fascinating element known as tritium. Tritium is a radioactive isotope of hydrogen with two neutrons and one proton. While it occurs naturally in trace amounts, most tritium used in commercial applications is produced artificially. Historically, one of the most common uses of tritium has been in exit signs. The process involves encapsulating tritium gas in a phosphor-coated tube, creating a self-powered, long-lasting light source. The brilliance of tritium-powered exit signs is their reliability. They don't rely on electricity and can illuminate continuously for up to 20 years. This makes them a crucial safety feature in buildings, especially during emergencies. But here's the question. How are humans exposed to tritium and is it safe? Tritium exposure can occur through inhalation, ingestion, or absorption through the skin. The good news is that tritium emits low-energy radiation, which makes it less harmful when compared to other radioactive isotopes. In fact, the tritium used in exit signs poses minimal risk to human health. The exposure is so low that it falls within the safety limits set by regulatory authorities. Which brings us to the important question of regulations. Each country has its own set of regulations governing the use of tritium and other radioactive materials. In the United States, for instance, the Nuclear Regulatory Commission, NRC, oversees the licensing and safety of facilities using tritium. If you're curious about tritium regulations in your area, a great place to start is the official website of your country's nuclear regulatory body. In the United States, you can find comprehensive information on the NRC website, including safety guidelines, licensing procedures, and regulatory updates. For those in the US, you can visit wgw.nrc.gov for detailed information. This website provides resources for the public, industry professionals, and researchers to stay informed about tritium and other radioactive materials. Now, regulations may also vary at the state level. Some states have additional requirements or regulations for handling radioactive materials, and it's essential to be aware of these to ensure the safety of both the public and the environment. To find information specific to your state, you can explore the official website of your state's radiation control program or Department of Health. These websites often contain valuable resources, FAQs and contact information for any questions or concerns you might have. In conclusion, tritium, when used responsibly, plays a crucial role in enhancing safety features like exit signs. Understanding the regulations surrounding its use is key to ensuring that it continues to benefit us without posing any significant risks under normal conditions and proper handling. So whether you're fascinated by the science behind it or just curious about safety in your surroundings, exploring official resources is the brightest way to enlighten yourself, pun intended. Thanks for watching.